Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to tell you a function based program, basically Python function program, where we will find prime factor of a given number. Now the question is that what is prime factor first of all? So when we talk about the factor, basically factor are the numbers you multiply together to get original number in the sense. Let's suppose there is a number 30. When you divide it by 2, you will get 15. It is fully divisible by 2. Then it is fully divisible by 3. Then it is fully divisible by 5. So that means that 2, 3, 5, all these are factors of number 30, original number 30. And when we talk about the prime factor, what is prime factor actually? See the factor of a particular number which is basically a prime number. That is what is prime factor. Let's take an example. Through example, we try to understand this. Uh, suppose I want to find the factors of 40. So first of all, I started dividing by 2. So we'll get what 20. Now I will try to divide this 20. So obviously by 4 it is divisible. So we'll get 5. Now 5. Again we have to divide this 5. So obviously it is divisible only by itself. So we'll get what 1. So now that my division is over, so now you can see here, we have three factors of this number 40, 2, 4 and 5. Now the question is that, uh, what are the prime factors now? So we know very well the number which is divisible by itself and one only, that is basically what prime number. So you can see here, this 2 and this 5, they are basically what the prime factor of number 40. So this is all about the concept of factor, I mean prime factor. So let's go for the Python programming and there we will write program for this particular task. So let's go to Python shell. Now I am in Python shell. Now the question is that how can we write or uh, you can say implement the concept of prime factor or you can say write program for prime factor. So we will see as uh, we saw in the previous uh, slide that uh, we were first getting the factors. So I am making a function by the name of like prime factor. Here I will pass a value. Uh, you can say argument also. So I am just taking this x. And after that I will divide this x one by one from 2 and on onwards. So I am just checking for uh, you can say i in range so i'll start it dividing by two so that i'm taking this two this is my starting step and then after up to what where we can write x even we can also write x divided by two because if 40 is there so we can get numbers through 20 as well so that's up to you what do you want actually to write here so i'm just writing this x and after that i'll check if this particular x is fully divisible by 2, so that means th that i is what a factor. So I will write just x mod i double equal to 0. That means the i will be factor of this x. So here, if this particular condition is true, now I have to check whether this i is prime or not. So that we will be able to get the prime factor of x. So now again I will start a loop from 2 up to i up or i by 2 you can also write so here i am starting z and i am writing in range again 2 up to what you can write like i now close this bracket and then again now i will check whether this particular j is prime or not so i'll just write i mod j double equal to 0 and if this particular condition is true, what should I do now? So, how can we confirm that this j is a prime, oh sorry, you can say i is prime. So, as I said earlier, if it is divisible by itself and 1, so that means it is not divisible by any other number. So, there I can do one thing. I will take a variable like s, I will initialize it by 0 and if this j or sorry i i mean becomes or it uh, get divided by this j so i'll assign this as to what one i'm making a mistake let me write it again 
So I'm writing if m j sorry uh, it should be i i mod j double equal to zero. So if it is there, so I'll assign this to one, and that's it. So what will happen? J every time j will uh, try to divide this i. If any time i becomes really divisible by j, so it will be one. S will be one. And if it is not divisible, S will remain zero. So from after getting outside of the if, and you can say what for? Uh, sorry, here also. Now I'll write if uh, you can say S double equal to zero. It means my number is what? Uh, I have to display this number because we have to display prime factor. So I'll just write. When you just display this i and that's it. My program is ready now. Now I have to run it. So just for the time being, I'm calling it prime factor. Here I'm passing this 40 and then check whether it is running properly or not. Not. So it is showing some sort of problem is there. So what is the problem? Okay, what mistake I did here, actually I have to keep this S outside of this for loop so that we will be able to find the perfect result. So now try to run it. So let's see what happens. Yes, so it is working now. And you can see when we are trying to get the factor of this 40, I mean prime factor. So you can see it is showing you 2 and 5. Because it is divisible by 2, 5 and 4 as well and 10 is also there but they are not prime. So that means my program is now absolutely fine. So uh, guys you can understand that this is how we can get the prime factor of particular numbers. Let's see if I input this 30 and run it. Let's see what happens. So here it is showing you 2, 3, 5 and these also these all are you know prime numbers. So this is absolutely fine. So that's it for this session and thanks for watching and please keep liking, subscribing and sharing as well because it matters a lot for us and we also in uh, need as well. So thank you and do take care of yourself.